Prove me wrong. <laughs> wow, let's move on. Uh, I guess it was a mistake was, playing that. It was, right. right. So let's we can talk do, about Obama. Well, we can, okay, or, or Trump. We got something on Trump. But. Yeah, I don't care. All right, go, go, with, go to Obama. You want this was his Oval Office speech where everybody's saying, look, there's green leaves and on the trees behind him, and he's not even in the Oval Office, and that's a green screen projection. He's in a bunker somewhere yeah. in Saudi Arabia or something. Do they have leaves on the trees at the White House still this time of year? I don't know. It would depend on the tree, I suppose. No, the were there cherry blossoms? You could. There you was, deal there was no cherry blossoms. <laughs> yeah, it would depend uh, on the tree. Yeah. I mean, and he did he say he was in the Oval Office? Yeah, it was an Oval Office speech, first one what in four hundred years what? or something. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the room was slightly less oval. It wasn't quite as oval. It's being compressed, and it was a circle office. <laughs> well, Do you want me to play this now? There's We're running out of time. Okay, so so these are these are some of his points on fighting terrorism. And well, then, no. Or we're just going to do the last one. Yeah, I don't care about terrorism. Okay, yeah, he had a bunch of gobbledygook about how he's going to stop terrorism. I mean, I care about terrorism. I don't care about what the president right, has right. to say about but terrorism. Except for this. This is one of the things he's, a couple of things he's going to do. Will, this will help terrorism. All right. There are several steps that Congress should take right away. To begin with, Congress should act to make sure no one on a no-fly list is able to buy a gun. What could possibly be the argument for allowing a terrorist suspect to buy a semi-automatic weapon? Well, freedom. Yeah, freedom would be one of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, the big one is that the no-fly list, there's absolutely no barrier to being put on there, right? right. There's no due process it's at all. hard to get off. It, there's a lot of people it, that are on it that are harmless. seem to be children. Good, there's some good children people. on there, it. There I mean, are children. Uh, Ted Kennedy was on it. I mean, it's an enemies list. If you, if you didn't like somebody and you wanted to screw with them, you put them on the no-fly list, and I'm sure it's happened. Right. You get a political dis- dissident. You get somebody that said something bad about you, you know, instead of you can audit their taxes and then put them on a no-fly zone. Yeah. If they're as dangerous as they say and they can't possess a firearm, why aren't they arrested and being tried? Yeah, exactly. Or deported? Exactly. So, no. There is a yeah. lot of arguments yeah, against plenty of reasons. Banning people to have guns that are on a no-fly list. I mean, not to mention that the no-fly list itself is probably unconstitutional. Well, I mean, pretty. Well, I, I think mean, it's pretty clearly unconstitutional, actually, and it's actually it, it inhibiting restricts your free uh, your freedom to your travel, your right to travel, and it infringes on private enterprise because it denies the airlines well, ticket sales. Yeah, right. Yeah, but so does right? the TSA and everything else. The what? The TSA. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm lumping that. Yeah, I know what you're together, saying. But All right. This is All a matter right. of national security. We also need to make it harder for people to buy powerful assault weapons, like the ones that were used in San Bernardino. Well, that's true. I, I think that's true. What's that? That we need to make it harder to buy um, very powerful assault weapons. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they were used in San Bernardino. And if you, you and I are familiar with you know ballistics and calibers. These were Generally. these were AR-15s. Mm-hmm. They're like half the size of a thirty yeah, out six. I mean, they're per, oh, they're a small, small. Trying little, to do the math. Well, at least powder. <laughs> AR fifteen's a, in essence, a twenty two. It's, it's a, a twenty two caliber. Two, yeah, two two three. Yeah, uh, it's a tiny bullet. Really, it's very. It's kind of long. Um, my deer hunting rifles are but, much more powerful. Yeah, AK forty sevens are more powerful. But yeah. So the more powerful assault rifles, then you have to define what an assault rifle is. Assault weapon. Weapon. Okay. Weapon. Um. And they're already fairly well controlled. Mm, yeah, way too well controlled, especially in so, California. Yeah. So what else did he say? I know there are some who reject any gun safety measures. Ah, did you like that? Yeah, I like that. Gun, I didn't, gun I didn't control? What? He's not calling it. He's not calling it gun control anymore. He's calling it safety gun, measures. gun safety any measures. Gun safety measures. Hmm. But the fact gun is that safety. our intelligence... That's interesting. Gun safety measures. Who can be against gun safety? Eddie Eagle can't. No. That's for sure. Everybody wants safety. safety. Well, who, someone said something, and it wasn't very brilliant, but they said it. Um, safety is the tyrant's tool or yeah. something. Who can be against safety? Right. For the, for, uh, uh, safety you is the tyrant. Your own safe, quote. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> safety is the tyrant's tool for who can be against safety. Yeah. Right? That's exactly yeah. right. But the fact is that our intelligence and law enforcement agencies, no matter how effective they are, cannot identify every would-be mass shooter. 
absolutely that's, right. That's true. Which it, which is that's one argument why the no fly list is wrong, and why it shouldn't be a list for keeping guns away from people either. Right? Because no matter how good you are, you can't tell who's a good guy or who's a bad guy until they become a bad guy. Right. And as long Whether as you, that- and as long as you keep having gun free zones where good guys aren't allowed to have guns lawfully, you're going to have these killings continue. A mass shooter whether that individual is motivated by ISIL or some other hateful ideology. What we can do and must do is make it harder for them to kill. Make ISIL harder to kill? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Not sure what he was saying. He's not very good at English, but... <laughs> yeah, we did... We we actually... That was like a four-minute clip. <laughs> we cut it down to a minute and a half uh, because we cut out all of the That's... sounds. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds really terrible. <laughs> what uh, was he doing? He must know. have been in a bunker in Saudi Arabia. It's very really dry. <laughs> he's, got, he's picking sand out of his nose. And like, oh, yeah, the Oval Office is uh, it's it's awfully dry, dry this time of year. <laughs> All right, you want to play Trump or not? Yeah, you he, have just you know, enough time to play him. Uh, anyway, so let's wrap good. that up. Obama's an idiot. Okay, okay. moving on. You want to, want this, me to- this is Trump on uh, Muslims and uh, investigating them, deporting them, doing whatever, limiting. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We, ha- we did cut out a lot of applause in here. There was more applause yeah. than we're going to play. have no choice. Mr. Trump stated... Without looking at the various polling data, it's obvious to anybody data. the hatred is beyond comprehension of such a big portion. Where the hatred comes from and why, we will have to determine. We're going to have to figure it out. We have to figure it out. We can't live like this. It's going to get worse and worse. You're going to have more World Trade Centers. It's going to get worse and worse, folks. We can be politically correct and we can be stupid. But it's going to get worse and worse. Folks, those days are over. Those days are over. We have to be tough. We have to be smart. We have to be vigilant. Yes, we have to look at mosques. And we have to respect mosques. But yes, we have to look at mosques. We have no choice. We have to see what's happening. Because something is happening in there. Man, there's anger. There's anger. And we have to know about it. We can't be these people that are sitting back like, like in the World Trade Center, like so many different things. We can't be people that knew what was going on two weeks ago in California, probably for months they knew what was going on, and they didn't want to tell anybody. We can't be that. We have to be strong. When we see violations, you have to report those violations, and quickly. No Japs allowed. Oh, don't give me that. <laughs> what? This is a legitimate danger. Is it? Yes. You think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Serious, yeah. Okay. Look, I, I, I think it's ridiculous what he's saying. I don't think you can do it. I don't think you should do it. I don't think it will do any good, right? What you need to do is give more, a lot more people to be able to defend themselves and defend other people, and it will fizzle out, right? It. I mean, we haven't seen too many terrorist attacks in... The U.S. Places where people yeah. in the U.S. right, Period, especially yeah. in places where people are allowed to to carry firearms, um, but the law actually kind of is on his side, right? I don't know if you saw it or not, uh, I and I yeah. saw an article, but Carter. and it's kind of iffy. But there's some the provisions president, yeah, for the, the president to be able to decide who comes in and who doesn't, right? Um, ba- based on a danger. Groups to- that support terrorism, I don't think Muslims are that group. But um, a totalitarian communist party, how many communists are we letting in? They're not supposed to be allowed in, people the, that were affiliated with the communist party. The government's full of them already. That's I know. Funny. How did that happen? Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's internal growing. <laughs> yeah, some of you it bring is. The, you bring the seeds in, and then you can grow your own. Yeah. Yeah? Well, is that, I mean, is that why you're concerned with the Muslims coming in? Eh, kind of. Really? Well, I think it's a it, the mosques give them bases of operation. I think, sure, sure, and I mean, I'm you not know. saying they're all like that. Of course not. Well, but how many does it take to cause havoc and to kill people? Yeah, not many. Right. How are you going to stop? But you them? can't punish the whole group for yeah. The how are you going to stop them? Right. 
I mean, I, it, you can't. You got to do intelligence. You know, that's one way right. to, to get people. And he went on to say he's not going to he's going to protect you if you profile that sort of thing. I think that kind of makes sense. You need to check out the people that you think have the highest likelihood of causing a problem. And that's not necessarily Muslims. Right. That's that's anybody. That, you, whatever you, you and I. Is. Yeah. Our group. I told, the city knows me well. I right. told you so. All right. We're out of time. You're bro. on no fly list. <laughs> At least drones. <laughs> Oh, I see what you did there. Well, I can up until Sunday. Yeah, okay. So I will be out there flying it until Sunday. Enjoy it. Until midnight. All right. See you next week. Bye-bye.